In this week's episode, an unexpected visitor appears at a university in Singapore, outrage over frozen fish ice rink in Japan, a spectacular whale migration, and a terrifying encounter with one of Africa's deadliest animals. Starting in Japan, where a bid to attract customers to a new amusement park sparked public outrage instead. Space World on the island of Kyushu recently opened an ice skating rink that featured around 5,000 fish and other marine life frozen beneath the surface. Instead of enjoying the new park as intended, those potential customers are now calling out the park for animal cruelty. The rink has been closed and the company has announced plans to hold a memorial service for the fish. Egyptian parliament has outlined an economic plan this week that would involve breeding Nile crocodiles exclusively for the purpose of selling them in order to boost the country's weak economy and increase falling export numbers. Lake Nasser is the proposed breeding site which currently houses an estimated 3,000 crocodiles. The plan has only recently become possible as CITES has allowed the trade of the species under certain conditions. And students at the National University of Singapore got quite the treat when a Sunda pangolin was spotted making its way down a flight of stairs. A rescue team was called to escort the pangolin safely off campus, and after a quick once-over examination, the animal was handed over to a local zoo to be microchipped and released. Staying with the weird and wonderful, researchers in Japan recently uncovered the amazing strength of the coconut crab. Using a stainless steel force measuring stick, scientists found that the animal's formidable pincers are able to generate a staggering 740 pound force. That's a force nearly equal to a lion's bite. Off to Cape Town, South Africa with some spectacular footage of humpback whales. Around 60 of the ocean mammoths were passing through the area while on their summer migration route, and the amazing scene was caught on camera with the help of a drone. Rounding off with this terrifying hippo charge, the head-on collision occurred on a bridge in South Africa's Kruger National Park. Both driver and hippo came away from the encounter unscathed, but unfortunately, the car wasn't so lucky. That's it for this week. We want your opinions on these nature news stories. Tell us what you think in the comments below.